front nose. His buddy is walking awkwardly. What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Ninja Review. Today we are reviewing Tokia Imamura in the Chulip video on the Free Skate Mag YouTube channel. A link to this video as always will be in the description below. Before we begin, Thursday, tomorrow, we are reviewing Toby Ryan. What is this trick down Wallenberg? Maybe you can guess. And on Friday, we review Wilton Souza. Plenty of reviews coming this week, so subscribe if you're not subscribed. Let's rewind and play. Wait, go more, play. One thing I noticed as I was scrolling through looking for thumbnails, is I couldn't find a good one because a lot of the footage is blurry. And I also noticed a lot of it was taken at night. So maybe that's the theme. I also went down here, clicked uh, settings quality, and I only get auto 720. So usually it says 60 frames or it says HD. So right here we have kind of blurry. Uh, I'm getting ready. Crossfade. Uh, cameras changing colors. A lot of waiting here. Like it's annoying just to listen to my voice. Uh, maybe this makes better sense with uh, the music, but I get annoyed just watching that guy do nothing. Okay, also very cool that he had to nollie flip before the skate stoppers. Perfect catch right there. But even here, really blurry. Maybe it's the camera quality, or maybe it's just because they're filming at night. I hate to que I hate to keep going back to that, you know, keep complaining. But it's been one minute. We've had one trick shown twice. We get the fakie push once, fakie flip. Grind right there, really well done. Okay, switch front heel, switch tail front heel. Man, I'm stuttering a lot today. This is gonna be a rough, a rough week of reviews. What you guys don't know is I film all of them in one day, then I edit them all the next day. Like, this video is five minutes long. I think it could easily be a three minute video if this continues. All right, Nolly front side flip, switch front 180, push once. I mean, what do I really have to review here? He got the front crook right there, kind of like back over crook, jumps over the uh, the ledge there. Oh, my mind is all over the place today. I'm not in the best headspace for ninja review. Uh, did we get a pan and crop there? Was that a zoom? And I'm just so distracted by the quality. Is that just a me thing? Does anyone else besides me get distracted by the quality as often as me? Not a bad nose slide, uh, big flip right there. I skated yesterday for two hours on the ramp. My legs are exhausted. Front crook, nollie varial flip. You don't see that too often, right? I think maybe we've seen that from Rodney Mullen. Nice throwback there. Hard flip across and down the stairs from the top rope. Nice uh, nice extension with the, uh, I don't know what you would call that, the knee steez there. Kind of hangs 10 on the board. Not a lot of people do that. A lot of people do the uh, catch halfway, Brian Herman style. You also get some floaters like... Sean Malto, but this is a pretty unique hard flip. My favorite hard flip, Ryan uh, Gallant. Bigger fan of that style, kind of go through the legs. What do you guys think about hard flips? What's your favorite type? I think Nolly inward heels are the same way. Some people go all the way through the legs. Some people catch it in the middle. Brian Herman, also a big part of that argument. You got to ollie through the pole. No slight Nolly flip, push twice. <laughs> Back Smith tap right there, kiss the rail if you're uh, if you're born in the 80s. Flip front nose to fakes, very clean. So one thing I will say, not a lot of tic tacs, no toe drags. We can say it's clean, kind of a unique style filmer here. Got in the clip, but did a great job. And also to uh, to heel flip 270 out of the nose side there and not have the ledge end to do it in the middle. Uh, it, it takes a lot. It got real rapid fire here. I was complaining about there not being enough tricks. Now it's trick, 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 which is what I would have preferred the whole time. Fake punching his friend. Front nose. His buddy is walking awkwardly. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Front nose right there. The nose grind popped back in. Should we call that overcrook? Are we still having that debate? Nolly flipped down. A little shifty on the way out, but didn't drag his heel. Unlike some people, front nose. Heel flip out, toe hanging off. Should we inspect that? I don't think it was close enough to inspect, but let's let's find something to complain about. Yeah, that's totally fine. I mean, if you're capable of doing the front nose heel flip, there's no reason to not clean it up from there. You know what I'm saying? 
He did a tic tac too. This uh, this this was very shaky, wasn't it? What's going on here? Filmers all up in his grill, skating in the thin hallway. I mean, entertaining, yes, very talented skateboarder, but I feel like uh, the attention to detail here sets the skater back. And I guess I'm just looking for something to nitpick. I mean, the tricks are great. It's nothing we haven't seen before, but it's all done very smoothly and cleanly with good style. We get a ledge trick here all the way across and around. And I did see this earlier. I think we get a big heel out or a backside heel out. Okay, backside heel out. Really well done. I wouldn't know like why anyone would film it like this without showing where he came from because that's part of the impressive part of the trick is that he goes around. But then again, when you are uh, spinning backside like that, you're gonna you're gonna want to back 180 out anyways. Humongous hard flip, by the way. I did something I don't do very often. I counted the stairs. I think I came up with 16. You guys can count yourself because I'm bad at counting. I will tell you this, a la many skateboarders of the past, my favorite being Jaws uh, down Al Toro, cracking the board and still rolling away and still managing to do it cleanly enough to where your heel's not dragging and to not even lose control. And if we look at this angle, big fan of filming stairs like this from the low angle because it looks like he just hard flipped six feet in the air and it's just a really aesthetic way to uh to film a big stair set like this but again look at when i pause over and over again you kind of can't even tell like what's going on just really for me bad quality and again we go down here i click quality i try to go up it just stops right there so i don't know you know is it really worth complaining about like what are we judging are we judging the video are we judging youtube's compression are we judging the skater well i would say we're kind of judging everything I give this a 1 to 10 scale based on how entertained I was. We're going to see the other angle here. Really well done, man. What a banger for the end of your trick. I don't even know that he filmed it another time. So let me, uh, maybe if I pause this one, we'll get a better thumbnail. Like I said, I only skim through these when I initially review them. See, this is probably not a better thumbnail. The other one makes everything look higher and you can't see the bottom. Overall, skateboarder's ability. Oh, 9.5 out of 10. Enjoyability of the video, honestly, for me, we're in the uh, the 7.5 range. And I don't want to just say, oh, it was blurry, let's take away one point. Every single trick was blurry. I feel like if I wanted to enjoy the skating, as someone who looks for that, these, these clips were 7.5% like, as good as the crappy uh, DSLR videos I put out. So that's just kind of my perspective. Not everyone has to rent a movie camera to go skating. And I know that when you don't have a lot of light, sometimes you lose some focus there. But even the tricks filmed in the daytime, I know, I know, for a, for a skater this talented and for a video part this good, you're gonna say, Ninja, you're you're voting too low. But you know what? It's my show, I vote how I want to, and I would love to hear your opinions. I know the blurriness for a lot of people is not a big deal. It's not a deal breaker. For me it is, I feel like cleanliness of the tricks, 10 out of 10. I like that he mixed it up with the ledge tricks, the lines, and the big stairs, the big ollies. I love to see big tricks. I like to watch skateboarding, it's kinda like a stunt man. I like every big trick to be like an action scene, but I also like the diversity of the ledge guys, manual guys, and even here and there, maybe a hill bomb so you can do some skids for the kids. Let me know your thoughts in a comment below. If you would like me to review footage of you, go back to one of the numbered episodes. I explain how you can submit your footage to me. Also, let me know in a comment what cool skate videos came out this week. Maybe just leave a comment saying, hey, you should review. Well, we already got what? Toby Ryan, Wilton Souza coming up. But uh, if there's other stuff I don't know about, or maybe even on some more obscure channels, I know there's a lot of European channels that I don't follow. A lot of the times, I do this on Mondays or Tuesdays. I just go on Thrasher, Free Skate. I'll put in hashtag skateboarding. Just look for what's, you know, what's trending, what's hot, which oftentimes backfires on me because I'm so disconnected from skateboarding. I feel like uh, there's a lot of skateboarding right now that's popular, but man, it is hard to watch. No, uh, no surprise to me that skateboarding's kind of dead right now because there's not enough people out there motivating 
you and I. Maybe we'll talk about that on the podcast Friday. Why do I actually think skateboarding is dying right now? Why are all the big companies pulling back? A lot of big brands up for sale, right? Downsizing. The Barracks is out there selling rocks. They're down bad. Anyways, we'll get to that later in the week. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another video because we upload five videos every single week here on Ninja Lifestyle. Have a great day. Kuna Matata.